the oceans and weather in Hawaii as compared to here in Micronesia. In Hawaii, the water is colder, cold, cold water. We have uh, our normal, our normal winds are stronger. We have trade winds that blow on an average from stronger, stronger than this was going today. And so the water is colder uh, because we're higher away from the equator. We're 20 degrees north. So our weather is very different from Micronesia. When we sail down to, um, before we got to the Marshall Islands, before Majuro, there's a definite difference. The water got warmer, the rain was warm. At, at, at home, when it rains, everybody runs underneath the shade and we all cover the raincoats. In, in Micronesia, when it rains, we just keep on walking. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, a, that's a big difference. Um, but also, what is very important, here in uh, Micronesia, it's the most active um, active area of cy cyclonic activity, uh, um, considering um, tropical storms and typhoons, more here than anywhere else on the planet. So, although your weather is nice and comfortable, you you are located in a very active, uh, very uh, violent, uh, dangerous area. So. We planned our trip from Hawaii uh, two years ago, but we didn't come here because of the bad weather. Remember the bad weather you had in the last couple of years where there were a lot of typhoons. And so that's why our trip is postponed two years. Um, so yes, the uh, weather is, is much more pleasant here, but you're situated in a, in a more dangerous location. In Hawaii, the weather is a little bit, a little bit more harsh, but we're more safe during the typhoon season. Uh, during our winter months, around January, February, March, mostly around February, we have uh, big waves that come from the north, uh, the north uh, Gulf Coast of Alaska, and that's why surfing, uh, riding the waves in the, on the ocean, is a, a very popular sport in uh, Hawaii. One of the biggest waves, uh, usually ridden in uh, Hawaii around that time. So we welcome, uh, we welcome your um, your weather. It's very pleasant. We enjoy it very much over here. But we're on our way, we're trying to get to Saipan within a certain time because we, we know that your typhoon season will start pretty soon, so we take the good with the bad. Uh, I'm sorry to you all the group. My question is, I'm not speaking this or speaking this, according to our history, which is the other season. Hello, I'm here to go up. Micronesia should be tortured account in Asia. Let's talk to Larry Perry, and then put Larry to put away. See you later. Yeah, we'll have a better time. I just put it on the grill. It's the only one who put it on the grill. It's the only one who put it on the grill. It's the only one who put does it take to become a part of this crew or become a navigator? I'm sure it's uh, come from all. That's all I translated on it. I have two questions. My uh, first question is, now when the stars come down at night, so how do you find all of the stars that are standing the way? Did you see the first two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Eu vou me ter um feito a armar, 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 eu vou me ter um, what do you like about our engine? Is that the question of the crew? Yeah, the crew. I know it's party. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll let him answer that. 
uh, shown so much kindness and their music, your music has been really wonderful. We went to the um, high school in Zaire. And Xavier. And the songs that they sang there were so beautiful. And then they would say that, you know, they were um, sad because they had little to give. And yet the people just kept giving and giving and you've given so much with all of your hearts. And it makes me realize that at home, we do have people that give, but it's not the same anymore as it used to be. In the, in the past generations, our kupunas or our families back then used to give a lot. Even with what little they had, they used to give a lot. And today with our economic the way it is, sometimes it's even hard to just give a lot. And watching all of you coming out and sharing all of your um, food with us, which has been really, really plentiful for us. And it's so wonderful. And this is something that we will go home and share with our families at home, even within our communities, that we really live a good life in home. And seeing the families here, some of the people, the way you're, you're living is, and your struggles is, it's really unreal in Hawaii. And we've taken things for granted. A lot of things we have taken for granted in Hawaii. And to see the way you people live has really made me appreciate life more. And I just want to go home and share this with the rest of our people at home that they're so lucky. But thank you so much for all of your generosity. Well, everyone is still talking, so we decided to apologize first before we crawl out. And I'm very thankful that we, we were able to be here. And one last thing, we're really sad because we thought that we're going to take pictures with you guys. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, how are you guys going to leave the canoe here, or are you, how, how are you guys going to get <laughs> I mean, uh, what's the what's the plan? Yeah, we're going to put the canoe up at the resort. Resort? That's the last place you want to go. No, no, that's not the uh, We're going down to the... <laughs> we're going down to the Ocean Islands, and then all the way to Sarawa, and then we're going to Guam, Saipan. And then? And then from Saipan, I believe we're going to put it on a ship, both the canoe and the escort boat. And the rest of them are going to swim back to Hawaii and the canoes are shipped. More better.